Tyrannosaurus rex and Triceratops horridus are arguably the most popular and iconic dinosaurs of the Cretaceous period, if not of all time. The two were scattered across countless popular movies, games, and shows, and largely represent dinosaurs as a whole. Just watch what happens when you search dinosaur in Google. Although T-Rex takes up a colossal majority of the pictures, if any dinosaur comes in second is Triceratops. When the term carnivore is mentioned when on the subject of dinosaurs, the first thing that may come to mind is T-Rex, made popular by movies like Jurassic Park. It's so popular, in fact, that many refer to its species name and its genus, unlike most other dinosaurs, Triceratops included. Although T-Rex stole the fame in Jurassic Park while Triceratops had a much less glamorous role, Triceratops has received more than its fair share of attention throughout the years. It's quite possible that the main source of its fame actually came from T-Rex itself. It's extremely common to see the two fighting in pictures and across the internet, and it's undoubtedly the biggest dinosaur rivalry to date. One may naturally arrive at the question, who would win, when they think about these two dinosaurs, and I will answer this question to the best of my abilities. However, unlike the battle in my Spinosaurus vs. T-Rex video, confrontations between these two creatures actually did occur with evidence because they actually lived during the same time period and could be found in the same areas. With this in mind, I will provide statistics and information on both of the dinosaurs and then create a scenario where the overall winner will be revealed. Please stick around to the end, keep an open mind, and enjoy. Tyrannosaurus rex was a gigantic theropod dinosaur which lived 85 to 65 million years ago during the Cretaceous period in what is now known as North America. They reached lengths of up to 12.3 meters or 40 feet and were 3.7 meters high or 12 feet at the hips. Although dinosaur weights are highly disputed and are often difficult to calculate, it is accepted that Tyrannosaurus rex weighed in at around 7 to 9 metric tons, exceeding that of an African bush elephant. They boasted an array of huge serrated teeth on a pair of jaws that could produce a bite force of 12,800 pounds, greater than any other known dinosaur or terrestrial creature to date. In addition, they had massive, strong legs capable of pinning down prey to finish it off. Triceratops hordis was a large ceratops herbivorous dinosaur in North America, which lived 70 to 65 million years ago during the Cretaceous period. They were approximately 9 meters or 30 feet long and weighed anywhere from 6 to 12 tons. Again, dinosaur weights are very difficult to determine. They had a pair of sharp horns above their eyes which were around 1 meter long and a shorter horn above their beak. These horns could easily impale an assailant of immense size but may have also been used in mating rituals. In addition to their horns, they had a huge frill composed of pure bone attached to their skull which protected their neck and shoulders from onward attacks. Their stout, hulking body, thick skin, and deadly horns made them a very risky and formidable choice of prey for large carnivores like Tyrannosaurus. I thought about portraying a realistic scenario, where a lone T-Rex would stumble upon a herd of Triceratops, but after a bit of research I discovered this wouldn't be realistic at all. In fact, there's almost no evidence to suggest that Triceratops traveled in herds, where there is evidence to suggest that T-Rex traveled in small hunting packs based on several series of tracks found in the Canadian Rockies of British Columbia. The little evidence that Triceratops traveled in herds was based on one set of fossils discovered where three juvenile trikes died together. This evidence suggested that they stayed together as juveniles and said absolutely nothing about what adults behaved like. So I decided to skip this realistic portion and go for a fair fight. One adult Triceratops horridus versus one adult Tyrannosaurus rex. To begin, let's ignore all scenarios where one animal would have one advantage over the other. For example, let's assume both animals were on flat open terrain and the T-Rex did not sneak up on the Triceratops. If this had been the case, a simple fatal bite in the neck of the Triceratops would end the fight instantly. Let's assume that both animals were of good health as well. In a fight against a Tyrannosaurus, fleeing is not an option for Triceratops. They can only run about 10 miles per hour while Rex could run about 18. The natural instinct would probably be to assume a defensive stance against their attacker. In this fight, the Trike's only hope for survival is to keep the Rex in front of it. The Rex's height advantage isn't too severe, and if the Rex got too close, it would be impaled by the Triceratops' horns before it could reach far enough to take a fatal bite. However, horns aren't Triceratops' only weapon. Its massive size and weight are more than enough to knock over an adult Tyrannosaurus and break bones. If a Rex had even attempted to circle around to get a better angle of attack, the Triceratops could ram into it and send it to the ground, where it would be then vulnerable to stomping, assuming it wasn't already injured by the fall. If a Triceratops managed to do this in every one-on-one -on -one fight it had with a T-Rex, it would win every time. My general answer to the question, would a Triceratops or T-Rex win in a fight, would be Triceratops. 
However, there have been discoveries of Tyrannosaurus bite marks on apparently dead Triceratops and injuries induced by T-Rex teeth, so why did I answer by saying that Triceratops would win? The simple answer is that the fight I just examined isn't natural or realistic at all. In nature, there's pretty much never a fair fight, and the actual scenario would have been much different. Either a lone T-Rex stalked the Triceratops until it found the right moment to attack and ended quickly without injuring itself, or it had accomplices that aided it in the fight. The truth about realistic carnivores is that they were probably very good at gauging whether they would win a fight or not based on instinct, natural analytical skills, or past experiences. For a T-Rex, any injury that made it harder to hunt probably meant death, so a Rex wouldn't take risks attacking dangerous prey like an uninjured Triceratops alone, especially if there was much less dangerous prey like a Hadrosaur available. If there were more than one T-Rex present while they attacked the Triceratops, then yes, Tyrannosaurus would win. In a realistic scenario, Tyrannosaurus Rex is the winner. So in conclusion, we learned that in a one-on-one -on -one fight with Tyrannosaurus Rex, Triceratops Hortus would most likely win. However, this scenario is unrealistic. In actuality, a T-Rex most likely wouldn't attack a Triceratops unless there were more Rexes with it, or the lone Rex snuck up on the unsuspecting trike to deliver a fatal bite. As always, feel free to debate in the comments, as long as no one gets too riled up, and the responses are well composed and understandable at least. However, I would like to bring up the point that this is all theory, and it is very hard for us to determine the outcomes of fights that occurred millions of years ago, and will never happen again. As with most fairly even fights, the battle could have gone either way. Either animal could have won, so don't take this video too seriously, please. Feel free to comment a new battle for me to do. I'll be doing the one with most likes, so let me know. Thank you all for watching. See ya.